This is your life, and this is how many Londoners travelled at the turn of the century. Now, any moment now, the man I'm after should finish a business meeting in an office just around the corner here, and I, when you recognise who he is, you'll understand how appropriate this bus and these passengers are for the journey I hope to take them on down memory lane. I'm waiting for a signal. Yep, that's the signal. That means he's coming. All right, let's go. special year for you. Yeah. And I've got to help me recall your own good old days because, Leonard Sachs, this is your life. Uh. <laughs> You come along to the studio, Leonard. We're ready to ring up the curtain on a program of absolutely super scintillating surprises. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, well, well. Hello, Mark. Oh, I You, you really thought I wasn't serious till you saw the red book there. No, I was I mean, I, I thought it was just the players' theatre having some sort of celebration for 40 <laughs> years or something. Well, <clears throat> no, Leonard Sachs, this is your life. And this year, you're celebrating 50 years as an actor, 25 years as chairman of television's The Good Old Days, and 40 years since you helped start up London's famous players' theatre, dedicated to traditional turn-of-the-century entertainment. All your pals here tonight. The player's newest chairman, Mike Hall, son of the legendary Henry Hall. There's former company pianist, Betty Lawrence, Gervais and Violetta Farjun, Joan and Mary Sterndale Bennett, Dennis Martin, and two more there from the very early days of the players, art director Reggie Woolley, and the man who succeeded you as chairman and remains so for over 20 years, Don Gemmell, and Don... John, you've another anniversary of Leonard to announce. Yes. yes, Eamon, the 30th anniversary of his marriage to a young actress he met at the Players' Theatre. Ladies and gentlemen, the decorous, the delicious, the delectable, <laughs> and Leonard's own darling, Eleanor Summerfeld! <laughs> Excuse me. Ah. And with her, your two sons, Robin and Toby. <laughs> well, Leonard Sachs, this is your life. And the man who has to become famous as a dedicated revivalist of traditional English entertainment was actually born 6,000 miles away in the small mining town of Rudaport, South Africa, on September 26, 1909. You were brought up there with your late brother, <laughs> High, oh, and dear. as a boy, attend Jeppe High School, where you make your acting debut as... Titania in A Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> when you go on to university, you're determined to become an actor, prepared for a long, tough struggle to get your first big break. But Robin, uh, your father's told you that when he got that important opportunity, it came by accident. Yes, a prestigious touring company was visiting South Africa at the time. Uh, they were short of an actor, they needed a replacement, and so they contacted an agency. Now, at the university at the time, there was another gentleman called Sachs, no relation, 
But, in fact, they got hold of the wrong Mr. Sachs and offered Dad the job and he took it. <laughs> Set out up a minute. Yes, yes. Let's go, but returned to London in 1936 to found the Players' Theatre with Peter Ridgway. Now, in the early days, it was a risky adventure. You're actor, producer, handyman. And to bring in money to keep the players going, you appear in this 1936 advertisement. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But it's at the players you create the role which was to make you famous to millions. And as a schoolgirl, I thought he was a walking dictionary. Daughter of the co-founder of the players whose father brought you to England. It's 25 years since you met Anne Ridgway, now Mrs Anne Murphy. Well, Anne, you were, you were just 13 when your father and Leonard started the players. That's right, Amy. Uh, and then, uh, right from the very start at the players, it was an easy, friendly atmosphere. Yeah. The audience joining in, just like they did in the good old days. Yes. And Leonard, the perfect chairman, never lost for a word, or a dozen words. Uh. We didn't always understand what they meant, uh. but they were very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anne Murphy. <laughs> Well, since those days, the Players has become a theatrical institution and recognised as a showcase for many a future star. One of those was someone you'd met in your touring rep days and whom you persuaded to take part in the early Players productions, frequently as a singer and always introduced like this. That miracle of mellifluousness, <laughs> my own son, Master Pat Hey! <laughs> Today, of course, award-winning actress Patricia Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Patricia, what's all this about Master Pat Hayes? Well, Leonard insisted on introducing me as his son because I was very nervous and I didn't think I would ever be able to get through the songs. And he said, well, look, be my son and then if you go wrong or if you go out of tune, it won't matter, I'll apologise for you. <laughs> which, which he had to do frequently. Oh, I, I mean, Yes, you did. I had... I used to be dressed as a Victorian boy and, and th I had a hat like that on my head yeah. and I sang, you know, these Victorian songs. Can you remember any of them? Uh, well, do you remember, <laughs> Leonard, do you remember Put Me In My Little Bed? Yeah. Do you remember that one? Shall I do a bit? Oh, please, yes. <laughs> it's asking for trouble, but still. <clears throat> come, sister, come, kiss me goodnight, cause I might. I'm tired now and sleepy too, so put me in my little bed. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia Hayes. Thank you. <laughs> But at the outbreak of war, Leonard, you joined the army, and although the other London theatres, apart from the windmill, had closed, you had determined the players would stay open, so you hand over the management to a young actress and set off for the war. And to keep the theatre going, I nearly had to go to war with him. You come to England, this is it. <laughs> Leonard Sachs, this is your life. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Yeah. <laughs> 